I think there's not much left to say about Nextcloud, it's already a very popular open source cloud storage service. What's great is that it's self-hosted, meaning you can install and set it up entirely on your own terms. You can run it on a home server, or even on your web hosting server if needed. You could also use a VPS to host it. There are several platforms and methods where you can install Nextcloud. But today, we'll be installing Nextcloud on a Synology NAS server. Now, if you search the Synology App Center, you won't find a direct app named Nextcloud. There is an app called OpenCloud, but installing that doesn't actually work, it's a community app, and in many cases, it might not be updated or could have errors. So today, I'll show you how to install Nextcloud on your Synology NAS completely error-free. First, you'll need to install an app called Container Manager from the App Store. As you can see, I've already installed it. But if you haven't installed it yet, just click on the Install button right here and go ahead with the installation. After installing Container Manager, open it, and then go to the option called Registry. From there, search for Nextcloud. You can install or download either of the first two options that appear. Once downloaded, go to the Image tab. You'll see that your downloaded Nextcloud image has appeared there. In my case, I've already installed both of the top two options for myself, and as you can see, both images are working perfectly with my system. I just opened them to show you that they're running smoothly. Now, I'll delete these and reinstall them from scratch, so I can guide you step by step right from the beginning to the end on how to install this on your system without any errors. As you just saw, I've now deleted both of the images that were previously here. I'm doing this so I can walk you through the entire process from the very beginning, step by step, and show you everything hands-on. As you can see, I'm now in the registry section. From here, we'll search for our desired application, Nextcloud, and then issue the download command. Just a quick note, the download time will depend on your internet speed. So don't worry if it takes a while, slower internet connections may require more time to complete the download. Once you've initiated the download, you'll see a prompt with different versions available. At this stage, make sure to select the latest version before starting the download. As you can see on the screen, our Nextcloud image has started downloading. It should finish within a minute or two, but for some of you, it might take a bit longer depending on your internet speed. So let's wait for the download to complete, and once it's done, we'll move on to the installation process. Now, as you can see, the Nextcloud image has finished downloading. Next, we'll right-click on the image and select the Run option to proceed. You'll now be asked to give a name to the container. You can enter any name you prefer, or simply keep the default name if you like. The next option is Enable Resource Limitation. Personally, I don't make any changes here because Nextcloud doesn't consume a lot of resources. So, I recommend leaving it as is, the default settings usually work just fine. Then there's the Enable Auto Start option. You can enable this if you want the container to start automatically when your system boots. Next, you'll see the Setup Web Portal WebStation section. In most cases, there's no real need to make any changes here. But if you're an advanced user, you can tweak it as per your needs. Once everything is set, we'll move on by clicking the Next button. Next, you'll see an option called Advanced Settings. We won't be making any major changes here, so simply click the Next button to proceed and follow along to the next step. Now, inside Container Manager, we'll go to the Container tab. There, you'll see the Nextcloud container we just installed. Right-click on it and select the Details option. If you scroll down a bit, you'll find a section showing the port number assigned to this container. Make a note of that port number. To access your Nextcloud instance, simply combine this port number with your server's IP address and that's it. You'll be able to access your desired Nextcloud setup. Once the Nextcloud application opens, the first thing it will ask you to do is create an admin account and set up an admin password. It's important to note that if you ever forget this admin ID or password, recovering it can be quite difficult. So, I strongly recommend that you choose a username and password that you can easily remember, and maybe even note it down somewhere safe just in case. After setting up the admin password in Nextcloud, the first welcome screen will ask you to install several essential apps. 
you can choose to skip any of them if you don't need them. But if you want, you can click on install recommended apps like I did to install all the suggested apps at once. Keep in mind, this process might take some time because downloading and installing all these apps inside the container can be slow. So don't worry or get impatient, just relax and wait. With time, everything will sync properly, and your next cloud will be ready to use, tailored perfectly for your needs. At this point, our next cloud installation is almost complete. We have successfully installed Nextcloud locally, and now you can use it on any of your devices. However, since we haven't yet published Nextcloud via a domain name or a public IP, you'll only be able to access it within your local network using the local IP address. To use Nextcloud outside your local area network, you'll need to access it through Cloudflare or a public IP address. If you want to learn more about this, please let us know in the comments. In our next video, we will show you how to use Nextcloud over an open or public network. Here's a quick tip. By using your Nextcloud container's port number along with your public IP, you can easily access it from anywhere. We'll cover this in more detail in an upcoming video about setting up Nextcloud on public networks or on your mobile device. You'll find a link to that video above.